SGC here, and we are back for comics time. First up, East of West 40. This was an intense issue, and I cannot wait to see what's gonna go down next. We have these crazy flying monsters thing, and Death just owned them all, and then we got the Apocalypse guy showing up, and it's like, ooh, action sequence, action sequence. And yeah, what's gonna go down? I mean, the kid is gone, and we got Crow and them doing their thing, and there's this like really crazy confrontation. It's like, oh my goodness, what's gonna go down? Cannot wait to see the next issue. Rick and Morty 44, loved it. It's the Vindicator the first one time around, and yeah, I loved how they sort of talked about this in the series, and then it was like, you missed out for the second and third time or whatever. But yeah, it was fun. Seriously, we're in season four. Um, 44 issue, uh, six more issues to go for me to hit the big 50, and I think I'm gonna be done. Because I feel like this is going on forever, and this is a pricey book, and I support it for a long time. I mean, like 50 issues. Holy crap, 50 issues. That's five. I spent $250. Holy crap! Ugh, now my brain hurts. We got the the backup story. That was that was pretty fun. I mean, the adventures in the public domain four or five. He crashes into these like really. I mean, Morty f crashes into these like really fluffy balls, but it's actually poo in their realm. And yeah, it was pretty funny. And then we got different Ricks coming in and showing up and doing their thing. And yeah, I mean, what 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 is there? What what are we what are we doing here, people? Seriously. Anyways, Outer Darkness number one. This was fun. Like, it's just very... Space. And I finally love, like, every time I see this, when they do repeat panels and there's slight differences, that's what I love. I hate the repeat panels. Repeat panels were just like four boxes of them just being like this. Different lines. I know the time is passing, but you, you have a slight movement. Yeah, I look forward to this. It's just like pretty intense with just that. And uh, Layman wrote this, Afu Chan. Interesting first name. Um, but yeah, I, I enjoyed this. And uh, Layman, I am I'm down. And I love the, the feeding of the engine. And yeah, they're going to figure out um, what they're going to do in space. So uh, I'm down for the ride and uh, see how it goes. Middle West, number one, Scotty Young writing and Georgie Corona. Love this. I did not think I would love it as much, but it's just like a classic story of just fi fighting yourself and then loving the art and then seeing all this like really messed up, like what's happening? Is that his actual dad? What's going on? So many questions. Really, really enjoyed it much more than I thought I would. And, and, and yeah, and yeah, good job, Scotty Young. And Corona. Mr. Miracle Dark Side is number 12. I really don't know how I feel about this entire series, really. I think it's a uh, character study on their marriage and just like them being father and mother. And I think I enjoyed it in that sense. And I just loved how mundane it was. But granted, I feel like 12 issues is a pretty, pretty long time. And, and if I can get my time back, I'll probably wish it was like a six issue thing rather than a 12 or just break it up because it just felt like the setting this setup was just so so long but you know mundane was good i don't know i'm conflicted leviathan number three sort of wish that i got the trad more cover because i don't really dig this cover it's creepy but yeah we figure out or we find out more about what happened and then there's like these more aliens or not and there's like this demon thing and is actually a demon so it's not just a random dragon thing and, and yeah definitely Leviathan what's gonna go down how's this gonna end can't really picture this as a very long ongoing but the layman I, I, I'm down for this tried more number five we're done this caught me off guard in terms of how it ended as in is there gonna be a sequel it's actually I was surprised like where the characters actually got me them being so committed to their cause and then turning around and just falling in love and the father figure. Yeah, I definitely feel like this book could have been much longer. Maybe not five issues, probably like seven or eight. Just to have more adventure type feelings rather than like, bam, we're running away and that's it. So, and then that's it. And then that's it. Like one trade. I hope that there's a trade. I mean, I mean, like a second second issue second series 
There's no letters page or any acknowledgements or whatever, so I don't know what's up with that. Don't know what's... Yeah, but, but I do look forward to whatever Tribor is working on. Next. Okay, West Coast Avengers number four. Okay, you got me, you got me. This was a great issue. It was fun. And... Will I come back to it? I really love the art, but I actually enjoy these characters. And if it's just the same team, I don't know. I think I got issue five. I don't know. I might not have gotten issue five. But this is a $5 book, so that's pricey. But I did enjoy how it ended with them just having this interview and all that stuff. And I love how it just sets up all these villains. So I might, might come back to this. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll check out issue five when it's. I think it's out already, so I'll probably flip through that, see how I feel, and then I'll get it and I'll report back to you. Or mine never will. You know. Issues. Next up, Farhan number five. It's going strong, and then this is uh, some backstory, and we're trying to find the daughter, and then holy crap, things are moving along, and clearly things are not going well, and. Cannot wait to see the second arc, and um, yeah, like, like just it's just like this was supposed to be a good thing for the community, and it clearly is not. Like people are getting screwed over in terms of like being infected by plant life. Like you don't want that. That that ain't. Dark Vader 23 and 24. We're finally building Mustafar. Finally got done. I think that happened in 23. No, we figured out that a lot of building, building. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, there's oh no we. We fight the mask guy in 23, I mean 24, and then we get the building at the end, so that's pretty nice. And um, yeah, Vader and Lava, I, I, whoa, whoa, that's, that's some pretty crazy stuff. And um, I think 25 is the last issue, so I'm done with that. And I think there is a new Vader book coming up next, but I don't know if I'm going to be down for that. You know, kind of cost, but it's pretty cost. For example, Catwoman, 5. Cutting. I don't even know what to talk about. Like, this was an actual. Actually, let me think about this. This was an actual issue that I actually enjoyed, because just the way that the narrative was happening, it's this dual story happening, and um, yeah, like I, I like that part. Like where they, where the, the old woman's killing the old dude and Catwoman's like at the psych ward, and then the doctor, and then. It's like, yeah, I enjoyed this issue much more than I thought I would. I do like these covers. Art germ. Art germ. And art germ. But beyond that, I don't think I'll stick around too long because I'm just not compelled. Next up, Weatherman number six. I think also this is the end of the, yep, the arc is done. We'll return in the spring. So, yeah, finally he, she gets it's like the team's happening like we got the team together and we're gonna work together and everyone's happy and a lot of life things happen as always love the art love yeah i mean it's, it has been a very consistent book in terms of production value in terms of the art paneling and coloring storyline i think yeah it's coming together i mean it's the finale of the art so that's always nice oblivion song number nine again i think i have ended with issue 10 but this issue was actually not bad where they really used the oblivion yeah like this this was cool i mean the actual story was just pretty nice and it just took nine issues to get here it was kind of like holy like i know you're trying to establish but like the meat of it is him and his brother and i sort of wish that the much much faster coming here and yeah, so I do actually look forward to issue 10, which I can't say I was like with the other issue. So Birthright 33, we we were we're really speeding up through this ish arc where I'm I'm liking it. Um, we get both sides. We get his brother learning more and more, and they're trying to get to him. And there's a lot more character development in terms of where they're gonna go with this, where life is now. And then Brennan is about to fight. And that's, that's gonna be intense and look forward to that so uh, yeah glad it's going so much faster I thought it was gonna be like one of those take forever let everyone train I can't find him let's go on some misadventures and then BAM I'm here I'm gonna kick your ass cuz I got stronger murder Falcon love this 
We got a new addition to the band, our bassist in the house. Love the art, love everything, and yeah, I love how they actually, I love how they actually talked about our main lead, who I don't remember his name, but Jake, yeah, Jake. Jake so has some background, like I think he was married, and then something happened to his wife, and then now we got a basis, and they really love each other, and can't wait to see the rest of the band. It's gonna be fun. Like, Die 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 number five. Great times. I really love this book. And yeah, just, just fun stuff all around. Like we got one of the another brothers and he's really capable and and then Yeah, he's just trying to figure out what is happening. And then the other brother fights these two. These two are pretty intense. I don't remember their names. But I love the action sequence where like she throws her gun and then like it hurts everyone. That was a good I love the action in this book. It's the gore really does it well. Like that's the score stuff. Like wow. And there's uh, repercussions of being injured and uh, being crazy. And there's a conspiracy. So yeah, um, yeah. This team has been knocking it out of the park for sure. Month after month. I think it's by monthly. I think. I don't know. I think it's around. Our schedule is weird. But I really dig it, and I can't wait to read the next issue. And that is all! Wow, that was fast. So I hope you like what you got, because it's your money. And as always, this has been Comics Time, of a review time of sorts, and mostly recapping. Out!